Wait, what is this lid? <gasps> then, what? <laughs> How? They are the shades within us, which... It blew my mind a bit. I feel like a scientist. Oh my! I did like the dressing gown overnight curls last night, but they haven't dropped yet and I've been trying to brush them out, but I sort of feel like I've stepped straight out of the 70s. In today's video, I'm going to be testing a whole load of new makeup. I've got a full face. I think the only thing that I... Bless you. I think the only thing that I don't have is face powder, but other than that, I've pretty much got everything for a full new face of makeup. I've got the new Clinique foundation. I've got loads of the makeup by Mario bits, which I'm really excited for. I've also got a new brush set from Unicorn Cosmetics. I've got a new primer from a brand called Superfluid. I've got some new lip products, some from Unicorn Cosmetics. I've got some of the KVD Vegan Beauty new lip butters. I'm just gonna test all of it. Hope you don't mind. Every time that I come in here to film, I just look at my plant in the background slowly dying because I keep forgetting to water them. I'm just putting a little bit of SPF on because I'm probably gonna end up, well, fingers crossed, if this goes well, I'm gonna wear this makeup for the rest of the day and then we're going out for dinner tonight. So hopefully it doesn't look too crazy. So like I mentioned, for my primer, I've got this, another product from this brand called Superfluid. I tried their brow gel in a previous video, which was pretty decent. And this is the Blur Primer blur moisturizer so let's give this moisturizing primer a go okay it looks just like a white gel doesn't smell of anything i know it does say priming moisturizer it just kind of feels like your average moisturizer there's like a little bit mattifying it doesn't feel oily it feels really nice it feels like it sinking in the past couple weeks my hormones have just been all over the place i've had so many breakouts like quite a lot round here, like round my jaw, um, my chin, like round my mouth, on my forehead as well, I've had quite a few. I would say that these ones would be from wearing masks, but explain this. So this brush set that I've got from Unicorn Cosmetics, I think I still have a discount code with them. When I was like reviewing their lashes a lot, probably about like just over a year ago, they did set me up a affiliate discount code, which I think is just so, and I think it's still active. Not 100% sure, but I try so if it might get you some money off. <laughs> and this is the Unicorn Cosmetics brush set and the packaging, first of all, looks stunning. You could just keep your brushes in here and have it in this little pot. They've got this like gold detail and then they've got these little like cherubs on them and like this cloud design. That feels really nice. But throughout this video where I can, I'm gonna be using these because there's a mixture of eye and face brushes, which is really nice. Ooh. These feel really lovely. They feel really soft. There's this tiny little blending brush. This is what I've been missing from my collection. These just look so beautiful. These are the eye brushes that you get. I have seen people raving about this Clinique foundation. It is the even better clinical serum foundation. It's got SPF 20. I've got the shades WN30 Biscuit and CN28 Ivory. Um, I'm gonna guess that this one's gonna be better for me, but I'm just gonna check. It does have a pump. Let me just, um, should probably shake it first, actually. So this is the lighter one. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be a good shade. Yep, that looks like it's gonna be a good shade for me. Yeah, this is the darker shade, which is WN30 Biscuit. Yeah, no, that's definitely gonna be too dark. And also I think it oxidizes slightly if you see like the difference between those two swipes. Let's just blend those in. Oh, and I'm using the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge, I think this is called. So I just saw a TikTok that loads of people had tagged me in of Chloe, the girl that owns this brand. And she mentioned me in her TikTok and said that she's watched my videos for like a while and she was really excited to see me mention her sponge in a video. And I felt so bad because I'd only just seen the video like on her TikTok today. I did see her comment on my video um, back when I first reviewed this sponge, but it is such a nice sponge, you guys. And she's a small business owner. She seems so lovely. Let's see if this will cover this giant spot that I've got. Oh, so far so good. Because it said it was a serum foundation, I kind of didn't expect it to have that great coverage, but it actually just got really good coverage. But the texture of it feels quite thin. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, the finish of this is beautiful. Obviously, it hasn't completely covered this massive spot, but don't know what foundation would. I like that finish. That has covered them quite nicely. And then also as well, like I had quite a big spot here, which it definitely has added some coverage to, but I will need 
a concealer. And then they also sent two concealers. These are the Even Better All Over Concealers Concealer and a Razor. So hopefully this will erase my spots. And I'm gonna use the shade CN20 Fair. I really like the packaging of these. Although, wait, what is this lid? <gasps> it's a, sp hang on. How does this work? Oh, 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 I like the wand. Can you see it's like a little domed doe foot? But I got confused for a sec because it's got a sponge. I mean, to be honest, guys, probably not gonna use that sponge, but it feels quite dense. And usually with my sponges, I run them underwater. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender, but let's try the concealer. Actually, maybe even this one might be a bit dark. I'm not too sure what I think of this doe foot. Cause I'm gonna have to dip in like a few times with it. I'm so used to doe foots now where you just dip in once and then it will do like your whole face. Okay, the coverage is quite nice actually. One thing I would say about the foundation and the concealer, they definitely both dry down a little bit darker. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this NYX concealer just under my eyes to brighten them up a little bit because that is a little bit dark. By the way, this is the NYX Born to Glow concealer in this shade. Fair. I'm just taking a little bit of my KVD powder. I'm using these Clinique contour stick things the chubby sticks i've had so much about these for actual years and i've never tried them but they sent these in the package with the foundation and this is the chubby stick sculpting contour in the shade 01 curvy contour and then i've got the cheek color balm chubby stick in amped up apple you see how it blends out And then I'm gonna use another one of the brushes from the Unicorn set. This is the UC02 brush. And let's see. Actually, maybe I need a bit of a denser brush because this is quite fluffy. Okay, that blends out a lot lighter than it looks. Okay. But this is still working nicely and it's still blending. It blends out so much more sheer and so much more natural looking because I was a bit scared of it at first. Let's blend out the nose. I think that that is really nice. It actually blends so much easier than I thought it would. <laughs> it's quite subtle though, isn't it? But I think I quite like that. It definitely works, but again, it's quite sort of subtle. Actually, I think I do quite like it, but I'm just gonna take some on my actual brush. Yeah, why is it that with blushes, I find it so much easier, like cream blushes, I find it so much easier to put it on my brush and then onto my face if it's in stick form. They are nice. However, do I prefer them to my current cream contour products that I use? Probably not, just because they are a bit more on the subtle side. By the way, I'm not setting my eyelids just yet because I'm gonna put an eye primer on. I think it's quite a nice base. What do you guys think? So I was actually sent some products from Makeup by Mario, which is now launched on Cult Beauty. I believe they launched in stages, so they've launched the eye products first, and then then, then what? <laughs> and then they're gonna launch the rest of his products in sort of like stages. And I was actually lucky enough to take part in a little Zoom masterclass that he did with Cult Beauty to sort of celebrate the launch. And I did actually vlog a little bit of that. So if you want to see that, it's over on my second channel, which is Soph Does Vlogs. But this is the Master Mattes palette, which I did actually use as I was following along with the masterclass. But he did also say that this palette can be used for eyebrows, so I'm gonna do that, I think. He has got two highlighting products. One of them is the Master Secret Glow Highlighter. He just wanted something that makes you your skin look like a dewy glow, but it doesn't stay sticky. And he said this can be used over the top of your foundation and doesn't mess up your makeup, supposedly. And like on top of powder, on top of your eyelids, you can use it on your lips. And it is the weirdest texture. It just sort of feels like a less sticky lip balm. He's also got this, which is called the Master Crystal Reflector Highlighter. And again, this says it can be used on the eyes or face. And it sort of reminds me of like the Fenty Diamond Glow powders. I'm gonna try both of these. I did use that on my eyes during the masterclass and it looked stunning. So first of all, let's try this weird cream one and see if it will mess up my foundation. Much to my absolute surprise, it's actually not disturbing my foundation or my powder. How? How is that possible? Because it's like, I don't know, it sort of feels like a lip balm. Normally, like, the foundation would just sort of lift off underneath, but what the hell? Pop 
the hell? I'm gonna put some on my lips. My lips are super dry at the moment. You know what I am gonna put on my lips? Which will hopefully plump them up a little bit is the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat. This is in the shade Hot Cherry. So it might look a little bit wild, but I think it is actually a little bit sheerer than this. I don't know, hopefully we'll see. And this is supposed to be a plumping gloss. It smells like sweets with a hint of spice. <laughs> um, this Mario highlighter. Okay, if I just sort of tap over it again, it definitely does still feel a little bit sticky, but it's not like, how is it not messed up my makeup? Somebody please explain the science to me because I'm quite surprised by that. Um, It's not really my thing, but if that is your thing and you like that wet looking glossy glow, it's pretty cool. And then over the top of it, I'm gonna use this, which is the Master Crystal Reflector. It's a highlighter brush from Unicorn, which feels lovely. Oh my God, okay. This is literally just pure glitter. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have put this on my face. <laughs> Even for me, that is a bit much because it looks like I've got just actual glitter on my face. I've committed now, so I'm gonna have to do it. This is starting to tingle. Um, Yeah, can you see this highlighter? It's like pure glitter. Very, very similar to the Rihanna one. So let's do my eyebrows quickly. And I think I'm gonna take mm, maybe this shade, which is very, very lightly. My lips definitely feel like they're being plumped, by the way. It's quite a nice shape for the brows, but it's just a little bit fiddly and it takes a little bit longer to do. I'm using this Clinique Just Browsing Brush on Styling Mousse in the shade 02 Light Brown, and this looks quite warm toned. It's got a very small little brush. It's definitely adding a bit of tint to my eyebrows. I don't know. I think other brow gels that I've tried probably work better than this. Yeah, I'm not super happy with those eyebrows. I do feel like I just need a little bit more bronzer and blush. So I'm just gonna dip into my Hoola, my Benefit um, Earth Angel Foroscope palette. I think I need a bit more blush, if anything. For the eyes, we've obviously got the Master Mattes palette that I just used. We've got the Master Metals eyeshadow palette, which looks like this and there's also a mixing medium so you can use these dry but he recommends using them wet with his master metal manipulator which is a mixing liquid and there's a little palette in here which you can pop out to wash and also you can mix these shades together but just by themselves like even without the mixing liquid they look really stunning and then also there's this which is the master metallics palette and this one looks like this again it looks absolutely stunning and he actually said that this was inspired by the different tones within your body he was looking into the colors of like different cells and stuff which was so cool and so he said that this should universally flatter everyone because they are the shades within us which it blew my mind a bit but these look bloody beautiful like oh they just look so pretty he said these can be used on your face as well so i'm actually just going to take one. Oh my these are so beautiful so i've just swatched this one and this one down here i think i'm going to take the slightly more pinky one but he was honestly just the most interesting man to listen to talk i'm just going to prime my eyelids using the abh eye primer I can totally see why for a makeup artist you would want like a matte palette and then your shimmers palettes so that you can sort of like mix and match between them. The only slight thing is if you aren't a makeup artist and if you're a bit strapped for cash and you want a shimmer and matte look, you then have to buy both eyeshadow palettes in order to get, you know, like a full look with matte and shimmer. Let's dip into this shade here just to start off. All of these blending brushes are quite small, actually. This is the bigger one. I mean, we've got this one, which is a bit more flat, but I guess you could use this to blend as well. Let's go with the one directly below it, so this darker brown. Okay, yeah, that is actually quite dark. And then I might actually go in with a lighter shade to sort of, like, blend it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna dip into this shade here in the top right-hand corner. And I'm just going to try and use this to blend out that dark brown because that is a bit too dark. I probably shouldn't have gone in with such a dark shade because I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling to blend that a little bit. I don't know whether that's my technique. I think I'll take this brown, which is like a really warm brown, and I'm just going to add some of this like right next to that darker brown. I was trying to be quite careful with them and like place them and then blend them, but... Hmm. 
I was kind of expecting this to be like a really easy palette to use and to blend, but I'm struggling a little bit. I haven't actually watched anyone else's reviews on this, so I don't know if this is just me, but I think it was just that dark matte brown. It like stuck a little bit. It has gone a little bit patchy. I'm just sort of dipping into some of the shades around this. I've gone for that one now. Let's take an even smaller brush and just try and pack some of that darker brown just on the very outer corner. Maybe it's the base I'm using, the Anastasia base, but I usually use that for my other eyeshadows and don't really have a problem with it. Let's dip back into a couple of those other transition shades. Maybe they're not intent- oh, okay, no, that's a stupid comment. I was gonna say, maybe they're not intended to be blended out, but it's literally an eyeshadow, like, what else are you supposed to do with it? Okay, let's just place that there carefully, and then, I think I'm actually gonna take my concealer and just, like, clean this up a little bit. Does that look a little bit better? Then, let's go in with the Master Metallics. He did say that he prefers to use these with his finger, so I think I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna try it on a brush first, but then I probably will just end up using my finger because I usually find the same. This is Metallic 1. Oh my god. Oh, let's use a bit of the more like fiery shade. So this one here. It does work with a brush, but I am just gonna take my finger because... Oh my god, yeah, on the finger. It is just 10 times more stunning. Oh, actually, I want to take this one as well. So <laughs> let's take a bit of that darker brown shimmer, like a coppery colour on the outer part of that. And then let's take the medium gold on the centre. And then let's take this gold, like true gold on the inner part. Oh, wow. Okay, those shimmers are absolutely stunning. Okay, yeah, I can definitely say those shimmers are beautiful. Like, they are so smooth. I do want to use these. I'm a little bit scared that I'll ruin my makeup, but I gotta do it. Like, I have to do it. This shade is calling my name. Oh, it comes with a little scraper. All right. I feel like a scientist. Oh, they scrape quite nicely, actually, without digging a massive chunk out of it. I've added two drops. Do I need more? Shall I just, okay. I mixed it on here. My brush soaked it all up. Oh, it kind of just looks the same as the other metallic shades. Let me try like this super intense gold one. What I'm actually doing this time is I'm loading my brush up with it. Then a couple drops. Dip my brush in there. Oh my, holy, oh. Okay, yeah, that, that worked better. Oh my god. Whoa. I mean, I definitely did actually prefer the other shade. Bloody hell. First time around, I just didn't pick up enough product. Inner corners. Let's go with this gold. I'm just doing my brow bone with that as well. Overall conclusion on the palettes. The neutrals one, surprisingly, I could take or leave. The two shimmer palettes, I have to say, this is just stunning. So then I've got his liquid liner and I've got the brightening pencil. It comes with the sharpener, which is really handy actually. I like that he's included that. Wow, that's stuck really easily to my waterline. I don't really put stuff in my waterline that often, but usually it's such a pain in the ass and you have to build it up in about five layers, but that was so easy. And then finally, for the Makeup by Mario stuff, I've got his eyeliner. This is the Liquid Liner, long-lasting waterproof definition with an effortless flexible tip. So I'm gonna test this on my hand, okay? I'm gonna leave that there. At the end of the video, I'm gonna go see if I can wash it off. But boy, is that a black liner. It's just like a classic uh, felt tip pen, but it's very, very flexible, which is nice. Well, I can't really fault that eyeliner so far. It's very black on my hand after that having dried. Doesn't seem to be smudging at all. That's pretty impressive. So after the video, I did actually go and try and like rinse this under the tap to see if it would come off. It didn't come off when it was just splashed with the water, like without me rubbing it, but as soon as I started to actually rub the eyeliner under the water, then it started to smudge and come off a little bit. And I was actually able to pretty much fully remove it with just water. So I would say it's water resistant because splash proof didn't smudge at all. But as soon as you sort of like rub it underwater, it will start to come off. So yeah, I would say water resistant rather than waterproof. For my mascara, I've got the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I haven't really heard anything about Clinique's mascaras, but let's give this a try. 
um, the brush is like natural bristles and it's just like a, it looks like a standard mascara wand. Oh, that's not really doing much. This is the second coat and it's just not really giving me anything. It's just not doing enough for me. It's not doing it for me, guys. I've put three coats on now and it's just like really not doing much at all for my lashes. I've got my mascara revolution here. I'm just going to use this instead. That's more like it. I have to say, actually, this Fenty gloss is really nice. It's definitely stopped tingling now. It was quite tingly for the first sort of like 10 minutes. Um, but now the tingle sort of disappeared and it just feels like a nice gloss. I've got these, which are the new KVD Vegan Butter Lipsticks, the Epic Kiss Lipsticks. Um, I have actually used these already. They've got a really tiny little thing. It kind of smells like a MAC lipstick. It's got that like vanilla scent. Do you know what? I kind of want to try this shade today, which is 120 Womankind, because the other one I'd already tried. They feel beautiful and i quite like how small this is so you can like really define the shape that you want oh my god i just want to eat it they smell so good they feel so moisturizing they're not sticky like it gives a really nice amount of color that is really stunning and to top it off finally i've got some lip glosses from glisten cosmetics again i do have a discount code with these which is an affiliate code so if you're not comfortable with that that's totally fine you don't have to use it my code is soph20 and they sent me over a couple lip glosses why on earth is my camera gone blue but i think i'm gonna go for the shade sweet cream and i'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle please smell nice please smell nice oh it doesn't smell of sweet cream it does smell sweet like a little bit damn i thought it was gonna smell like really caramelly but it doesn't okay okay it's a very pigmented gloss but that does not feel sticky at all yeah can you see not sure how well this lip goes with the eyes it's maybe a bit too like cool tone okay why is everything looking so blue on camera i'm really confused what is going on with my lights like hopefully the lighting is a bit more back to normal now i did just check through the footage on my camera it definitely went a bit blue and i've got no idea why but yeah this is everything finished what do you guys think what's your favorite thing that i tested today yeah i would say that my favorite products are the shimmery eyeshadow palette from makeup by mario and probably the foundation i really like this foundation and then my least favorite thing was the mascara like that just literally did nothing for my lashes i'm just gonna answer a question of the day if you guys have got any questions for me about anything leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day also if you aren't subscribed and you watch my videos quite a lot please press the subscribe button turn my notifications on that would be great and a lot of people that watch me aren't actually subscribed today's question comes from eden israel and she said hi Soph, how's your mental health been doing you always ask your fans how we are doing but i want to know how you're doing we're here for you thank you first of all i just want to say that is such a sweet comment um so thank you eden and I hope that you are doing okay as well. Uh, I would say my mental health has still been a little bit all over the place. It kind of like comes and goes in waves of like how good I'm feeling. But I think that is so normal. Like everyone goes through those sorts of phases. I would say at the moment it's pretty okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know how to sort of summarize it because I have some days where like I'm not doing as good and then other days where I'm like fine. At the moment like my anxiety's picked up a little bit just because obviously we can go out places now and the social anxiety element if anything has sort of like come back and I think a lot of people are going to feel the same because you know we've, we've been inside for so long and then suddenly now you can sort of go out and see people and so it's been a bit a little bit like oh like I don't really want to but I know that I have to otherwise I'm just gonna keep spiraling downwards and not want to go out ever <laughs> um and then in terms of like other stuff just like general mood and mental health i don't know it's been a bit all over the place to be honest but i would say that i'm fine at the moment like i'm doing pretty good i think thank you for asking that's very sweet of you right i'm gonna end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up like i said subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let me know what other videos you would like to see and i will see you guys in my next video bye